And so it is pretty huge. And, you know, as a first time comer, I also felt very, I think, overwhelmed by um, all these different opportunities and resources that are being offered by DSOT. Meeting my peer scientists and peer colleagues were really helpful to get me navigate through the SOT and also learn about these different opportunities within the SOT. They have the graduate student leadership committee, as well as the postdoctoral assemblies for the postdoctoral trainees. It's been really great to see the amount of support that SOT offers. Awards are really important for students, for postdocs, for early career scientists. They not only motivate uh, individuals to do great science, but also to share this science with the research community and hopefully beyond. And one great way to dig into this network is SOT has um, all of these awards listed on their website and you can search for them via specialty sections that offer these awards or special interest groups or key words based on the research that you do. GIF stands for the Graduate Intern Fellowship in Toxicology, and it's an SOT program that's really designed to support students in obtaining training experiences that aren't included in their normal PhD program. It was through GIFT that I was actually able to relocate to Boston for a few months to complete an internship with Emulate Bio. And there I was able to learn more about liver biology on their liver on a chip system, which complements my research in zebrafish studying liver injury from environmental chemicals. I received the Hudson and Weisberger Award from the Women in Toxicology, and I've also received a Murphy Award from the Mechanism Specialty Section. And I'm incredibly honored to receive these awards. These awards have helped me attend SOT, as well as more specialized meetings where I've been able to keep up with new research in the field and meet the people that are behind this research. That basically helps you meet any type of needs in your training and the planned career track that may not be immediately accessible through your current research and, and training. STEP stands for a supplemental training for education program and it basically gives the graduate students with up to thousand dollar stipend to support their training in the professional or scientific areas that are important for their um, career development. And that can include professional development courses like communications and writing classes and also some scientific workshops. So for example, I use this step award to um, take a one week training in this cutting edge population based pharmacokinetic modeling tools, which incorporates the inter-individual variability to kind of better predict the behavior of the drug candidates in humans. And that really motivated me to do my postdoctoral fellowship at the National Toxicology Program, where I worked on the um, research project that utilizes various cutting edge tools to um, assess the population variability in the chemical induced developmental neurotoxicity. So that I was able to get through the step award significantly enriched my research career.